Okay, I have a new effect to share with you today. For this effect, you need the seven of diamonds and then nine random cards of your choice. Okay. Well, it's best just to choose them without anyone seeing them, I guess. But um, So you can mix the cards as a spectator as many times as you like. And then just choose nine random cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And then just mix these cards as much as you would like. When they're sufficiently mixed, go ahead and just deal them out into uh, three piles of three cards each, however you would like. Okay. Now what I need you to do is look at the top card of any one of these three piles. Okay, so let's say you look at this one. Now I don't have a spectator here, so we'll all have to see the card. It uh, looks like it's a five of spades. Okay, so that is the card for them to remember, but you won't see it as the performer. Now they're free to set their card on top of either one of the two other piles of three cards. So maybe they'll place it right here, that's fine. And now they're free to stack either one of these piles on top of their noted cards. So maybe they'll put these on top and then these. That would be just fine. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put our helper card, Seven of Diamonds, on top. Now from here, we're going to deal out the cards into two piles. Okay. And I kind of joked in the title, I believe, that this card effect can only be truly performed by a right-handed person. Well, that's not actually true, but it is true that you need to pick up the right-hand pile. So it's probably a little easier for a right-handed person. Okay, and now you as the spectator are free to switch any of these two cards. So maybe you'll switch this one with the top one. Okay, so let's try to do that without dropping them. Okay, very good, set those on top. Uh, let's do that again, so just two piles. Okay. Um, so switch uh, any of these two cards that you like, uh, except the Seven of Diamonds. Please don't touch that one. What's that? But you want to switch the Seven of Diamonds? Um, oh, um, well, okay, if, if you insist. Okay, well, what do you want to switch it with? The middle card. Okay. Uh, we'll do it. Drop those on top. Hope that doesn't destroy everything. Try that again. Right hand pile. Which of these two would you like switched? The outer ones. Okay, so I'll move this one here, this one here. I do that. Put those on top. Maybe one more time. Okay, which of these two would you like switched? The middle with the bottom. Okay, we can do that. Very good. Drop those on top. Now at this point, we're simply going to spell seven of diamonds. S-E-V-E-N-O-F-D-I-A-M-O-N-D-S. -E -E okay, where did that bring us? Well, as long as you haven't destroyed everything with your insistence on switching the seven of diamonds with another random card, this card right here will be the one that you noted. And it is indeed. Okay, so let's quickly talk about this here. Okay, so to see what's going on with this, why don't we go ahead and we'll kind of deal these. Uh, we'll have their selected card. Uh, we'll still have it be, be the five of spades. But this time we'll have it face up. Okay, now it is true the spectator's free to stack this on either of these piles. So maybe we'll stack it there and then they can randomly stack these. Maybe we'll go smaller and then bigger this time. But the bottom line is because of that positioning, their card is six, one, two, three, four, five, six from the top. Now when we put the seven of diamonds on top, it will be seventh, okay? Now the secret is this dealing into two piles and you know with stacking right on left where we allow them to switch cards if you like stack those on top the five of spades which is their card here will always be seventh from the top one two three four five six seven so it's a fixed point relative to this dealing okay 
So no matter how many times we deal into two piles, their card is safely over here, okay? So with the switching, it's not going to be harmed by any switching the spectator will do because we don't even care about these. These are like filler cards, okay? So they can switch these around as much as they want. In fact, they can just, they can even just do a table wash. <laughs> I, I think that might give it away if you do that. It might be best to limit the switching just to leave open the possibility. Otherwise, you're forcing the spectator to almost find part of the secret, namely that their card stays in the left. Okay, and stack that on top. Do that as many times as you like. And then because of the positioning of their card, when you spell out seven of diamonds, S-E-V-E-N-O-F-D-I-A-M-O-N-D-S, it is guaranteed to bring their noted card to the top every single time. So that's the secret, a very powerful routine. And I want to point out that the final spelling of seven of diamonds, bringing their card to the top, that is a golden nugget by Warner Miller, okay? Now the rest of the routine is very different from his, but I can add a link to his original performance if you want to take a look at that. But it really is quite a surprising little effect. So thank you for watching and take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.